Hello, and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today, it is all about how to grow and care for the Alo Capitata var, Quartzitacola. Alo Capitata var. Quartzitacola is a rosette forming succulent in typical Alo fashion. It is native to Madagascar and is known for its incredible blooms and distinctive leaves. Its leaves are a light blue gray in the shade but they turn reddish purple the more they are exposed to direct sunlight. They are lined with sharp red teeth around the edges, adding character. The bright yellow blooms appear in round clusters atop flower stalks. A low capitata var. Quartziticola is a low maintenance plant that rarely needs much care. It can be kept outdoors year round or indoors in a sunny window during winter. A low capitata var. Quartziticola likes bright, indirect light. It will do well in a south-facing window or partially shaded patio. It will also grow in direct sunlight, but the leaf's color might be affected. This aloe grows well in soil that is well-draining but not too dry. A mix of potting soil and sand will work nicely. This is a drought-tolerant plant. It doesn't need much water to stay healthy. Water it well after dry spells, and only water it when the soil is completely dry. If the plant starts to look droopy, more water is needed. A low capitata var. Quartziticola is a hardy plant that doesn't need much fertilizer. However, you can occasionally use an all-purpose, slow-release fertilizer or compost to keep the soil topped up on nutrients. A low capitata var. Quartziticola is a tropical plant that likes warm temperatures. Therefore, it will do well in temperatures of about 55 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. If kept dry, the plant can handle brief winter chills without issue. Keep humidity levels between 40% and 60%. The aloe will show signs of stress if the humidity exceeds 60%. Like most aloe, this plant rarely needs pruning but you can trim off the tips of its leaves if they become damaged or diseased. You should also remove any brown leaves that appear on the stem when you're watering it. This aloe is a slow-growing plant that doesn't need to be repotted often. If you notice the roots are filling your container, you can move them into a larger pot. It doesn't have any specific requirements for soil type or pH level beyond good drainage. The container should be large enough to handle the aloe's mature size, but must have drainage holes drilled into the bottom. Prepare the soil. You can use a standard succulent potting soil or mix your own using compost, perlite, or vermiculite. Place the pot where it will receive the partial shade and good air circulation. Remove the plant from the pot. Clean off any soil clinging to the roots with a damp cloth or sponge, using caution to avoid disturbing or damaging them too much. Cut away any dead or damaged roots. Fill the new pot with a preselected, well-draining potting soil. Place the aloe in its new container. Pack soil around the roots, making sure to remove any air pockets. Water thoroughly when finished. Aloe capitata var. Quartziticola seeds are easy to germinate and grow, requiring only a few steps to achieve success. Take the seed pod and remove it from its protective covering. Remove any remaining flesh from the inside with a sharp knife or spoon, not damaging the seed within. Place the seeds on top of damp paper towels in an area where they will be exposed to lots of light, but no direct sunlight. Keep them warm at all times using an incubator set between 85 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. After about three weeks, you should begin to see small roots emerging from the seeds. Once this happens, replant them in a pot of well-draining soil and treat them as seedlings. The flowers appear on mid-sized stalks during midwinter. They form orange buds that turn into bright yellow tubular flowers once they open up fully. The flowers form an informal spherical cluster that's incredibly striking when in full bloom. A low capitata var. Quartziticola has no toxic effects reported. 
However, it's best to keep children and pets away from the plant due to its sharp leaves. Mealybugs, scale insects, and aphids are some of the most common pests of these plants. Mealybugs are small insects that look like cotton balls on the plant. Mealybugs feed on sap and cause damage by sucking juices from your low plant's leaves, stems, and roots. If not treated right away, they can destroy your plants within a few weeks. Scale insects are another common issue for a low plants. They're small and round, with a hard shell covering their bodies. There are different scale insects, but all of them are treated the same way, with a dose of rubbing alcohol. Halfids are small insects that look like tiny black or greenish colored dots. You'll often see them on the leaves of your low plants, feeding on sap and causing damage. Use neem oil to be rid of them. Please note and avoid. Overwatering the plant, placing it under harsh sunlight, using poorly drained potting mediums, and fertilizing during the dormancy period. Sunburn, overwatering, and overfertilization are some of the common problems of these plants. Many gardeners make the mistake of giving the plant too much sunlight to induce darker shades on the leaves. Too much direct sunlight will cause the plant's leaves to burn and turn brown, and not the healthy kind, so be careful when placing your plant outside. Aloe plants are very sensitive to overwatering, so it's essential to be careful. If the potting soil is too moist, you can damage your plant by causing root rot. This is almost impossible to recover. The best solution is prevention. It's also important not to over-fertilize your aloe plant. Too much fertilizer will cause the leaves of your plant to turn brown and fall off. Avoid fertilizing altogether if you're unsure about the dosage. 